Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom crafter in Minecraft. So, basically, well, here, I'm going to show you how it works first. So, okay. So, I'm just going to put the anvil down, and just, I'm going to name this Endermite Spawn Egg Set Crafter. Okay, so now I have this Endermite. Um, I'm just going to place it down, and as you can see, it becomes a dropper. Now, if I grab gold blocks and a regular apple, um, it, this looks better on, like, PC, where it's, like, a 3x3 three three square, but on Pocket Edition, it kind of doesn't work like that, but that's fine, because... I'll just, um, do this, and I just fill it in one by one, is how you kind of have to do it on Pocket Edition, but that's fine. Alright, and then once I put this last one in, you'll hear an anvil use sound, and then you'll also see a notch apple instead of the gold blocks and the apple. Are you ready? <laughs> Boom. Now we got the notch apple. And yeah, that's basically what I'm going to show you guys. And you can make, like, any crafting recipe you want. And you can make however many you want. Uh, you just kind of need to know coordinates. If you don't know how to use coordinates, then, uh, I don't know what to tell you. Also, uh, I have made a way so that, uh, if you break this in creative, it doesn't work. But... If you break it in survival mode, game mode S, yes, and then break it, as you can see, you get your set crafter back, and you can place it down, and then craft again, and then you pick it back up. Now it could be any pickaxe, because it's a dropper, and droppers aren't really that hard. But, here's the thing, if you have a regular dropper, uh, say I go to creative mode, and give myself a regular dropper. A dropper. Oh. A dropper. And I just place it down. I can't craft anything in this. I can't. Can't. Well, I'll, I'll even show you. Um, if I break it, I just get my dropper back. So you can also use droppers as res like regular redstone components. Uh. If that's what you're gonna do. So, uh, yeah. It's pretty cool. Contraption. But, if you break it in creative, you just gotta have a thing there on the floor. And you have to kill it, but whatever. Um, okay. It's honestly pretty simple. I saw this one guy's video. It's 50 minutes long. And it's basically the same thing, except way more complicated. Probably better. But, it would be really hard to copy. Either way, <laughs> I'm going to be showing my version in today's video. And, uh, honestly, this really isn't that bad. shouldn't take that long. But, yeah. Uh, let's not waste time. Let's just hop right into it. Alright. So, if, you're want, if you want your commands to be, like, easy and simple, uh, and, like, exactly like mine... Then you have to find the coordinates on your world. Doesn't matter what type of world, as long as it's just like a regular world that you haven't like put anything on, because the command blocks could interfere with that thing. Um, like other command blocks, that's the only thing it'd interfere with. Uh, but yeah, basically, um, at these coordinates, see, I'm standing on this dropper. This dropper is actually at the coordinates of 0, 6, 1. If you guys don't know how to turn on coordinates, you just go to the, the pause button, go to the settings, and, um, wait for it to load. And then you want to go to the game settings, obviously. Scroll down. You'll see this one right here. It's the show coordinates. You're going to want that one to be on. Also, you, to, in order to give yourself a command block, you just do slash give, or, oh, not gov, give at s command underscore block. 
just for the, uh, the the people who don't know how to do that, which I'm sure most of you know how to do that, but, yeah, that's for the people who don't. Alright, now, what you want to do is you want to go to these coordinates, put your dropper, and make sure you get a dropper, and go into your anvil and name it Crafter. Otherwise, it will not work. So just name it Crafter. Upper, um, capitalization and everything has to be the same, or it won't work. By the way. Okay, Crafter. Uh, hold on, let me make it day. All right, and then you're gonna place that just kind of facing up. Doesn't really matter. You can make it facing down. It looks better, but it's just such a hassle to do. Uh, yeah. So you just make this facing up or whatever direction you think would look best for a crafting table. And that's fine. Oh, you don't have to have these wood planks there. That doesn't matter. I just had those there to put it up easier. But yeah, uh, just go to the coordinates 061 or 071 and then the block under you would be where the dropper should be. <laughs> okay. So then... The first command block that kind of runs most everything is this one right here. This command block is a re repeat, unconditional, always active. Uh, execute on first tick, that doesn't really matter. And zero ticks of delay, uh, just don't change that. So, this one, this one is going to be the one that, uh, like, tests to see if there is ender endermite in your world. Uh, which is like, in Endermite specifically named Set Crafter, which is what you need it to be named to call that. Um, every other Endermite will be normal, as long as it's spawned normally, anyway. <laughs> okay, so this is the command, pretty simple, just type that in, you can pause the video if you guys need to. Uh, yeah, uh, repeat unconditional always active, if I didn't already say I think I already said that. Uh, yeah, none of that matters. Okay. And then what you're going to want to do, grab a comparator, put it right here with the, like, little small dot facing outwards from this command block. And basically what this comparator is doing is reading the results from this command block. And it's saying, if there is, then the comparator will send a redstone pulse into this command block. And basically this command block is just, um, like... This command block is putting uh, the this dropper that we placed right here on the endermite. Um, and the reason it's an endermite is because endermite can't like an endermite cannot die from suffocation, I think, because it hasn't been. But either way, <laughs> um, yeah. So it, it basically just takes the block from here and puts it on, um, on the Endermite. Oh, and by the way, guys, you're gonna need all these things spaced out exactly how high I have it, if you want it to be, like, easy. Um, if you put your dropper at 061, is what you need to do. And that just is to make sure, um, you know, that it's right. Also, you are going in the negative Z direction, um, which is the last coordinate for all the commands. Just so you know that. Yeah, so yeah, on 6, negative 1, or 0, 6, negative 1, you'll have these command blocks go on. Okay, uh, this command block, impulse, unconditional, need redstone. And this is this command block. You can pause and type that in. Give me a second here. All right, then we have, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, then we have this one, which is chain unconditional always active, like here. If you guys didn't know what I was talking about before, that's what I meant. Um, and uh, here we have, this one's just making it so the endermite can't move. Uh, and that's just to make sure that the endermite doesn't escape. Because we need the endermite there, because without it, then it doesn't work, basically. <laughs> just just mark my words, man. Okay, 
And then, it, this is the command, you guys can type that in. Uh, pause the video if you need to, by the way. If I didn't, yeah, no, I already said that, whatever. Um, alright. Now we have this command block, right here. Uh, always make sure to look at the coordinates to know where the command block is. Um, by the way, coordinates are based on where your feet are. So, actually, this command block is one block down in the Y coordinate. And how I remember X, Y, and Z is, well, X, Y, Z. You always just gotta remember X, Y, Z. Uh, X is first, Y is middle, and then, uh, Z is the last one. It's, it's, it's kind of simple for me, but then that's because I've been doing things like this for a while. Um, so yeah. Then, in this command block, you're gonna put test4 at E, name equals crafter. And this is gonna be a repeat unconditional always active. Um, and this is a pretty simple command, it's really short. Just make sure you have all the capitals normal and everything. Like, everything completely the same. If you miss anything, it'll be wrong. Alright, then we have a comparator into a dropper. And this dropper uh, has a set crafter egg in it. But the thing is, it's an infinite one. Uh, so it'll then never run out, and that's because this one is constantly being cloned right here. Uh, I'll just show you that command in a bit. Okay, but then you're going to want a repeater with one tick of delay on it into a impulse unconditional needs redstone command block. And on that command block, this is the command. You guys can just copy that down. Pause the video. Alright. And then after this, you're going to want to um, go into this command block, which is the one right above that. And in this command block, you're going to want to chain unconditional always active. It's going to be slash kill at E uh, bracket name equals crafter. Everything has to be capitalized how it is in mine. Just make sure it's the same. Um, and if it's not, the worst that can happen is you either rewatch the video or you give up and you're like, through this, I don't want to know it down, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, yeah. So, slash kill at E name equals crafter. And that's pretty simple. Um, yeah. And then here, this one is slash kill at E name equals set crafter type equals endermite. If you don't put this there, then you will not, the result won't be how you want it to be. So, it has to be exactly like this. And yeah. Alright, pause the video, obviously, guys, I can't stress that enough. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video and you'll probably get it, hopefully. Um, yeah. Oh, basically, what I'm explaining, right, is this part is just to start it up and make it, like, so the Endermart just kind of starts. This part, um, oh, crap. Uh, this part is to make, like, the breaking, so if you break it in survival mode, then you get the, uh, egg back. And then this part is to do the actual crafting inside the dropper. So, uh, basically, these commands, you can always, um, always use the dropper name crafter, except for uh, this one, you don't need to if you don't want to, but it's probably just easier to do that. Uh, so this one doesn't have to be named crafter, but I made it named crafter because I had crafter droppers and I didn't want to go get more. But yeah, um, every other dropper has to be named Crafter. That's just a guarantee. Okay, so in this dropper, you want to put your crafting recipe and, like, what you want them to have to put in exactly that. They have to put exactly that, like, the amount and everything right, otherwise it will not work. Like, even in the right spot. And then, this one is, uh, what it will turn into. Okay, and then these are the command blocks. Right here, um, it's repeat, unconditional, always active, and here's the command. Just copy that into your command block. Um, perfect. I will be making another part of this video, which is just, uh, basically just, um, like an uncrafter for this crafter. So you can make whatever crafting recipe you want. But, you could just make, like, an easier recipe for everything. Or you could just, like, like, I don't know, there's a lot of things you can do. You can put any blocks into this, obviously, it's a dropper. And you can put any blocks into this. Doesn't matter, you can make whatever recipe you want. 
and you can make it OP or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, there is a much simpler design, but it's really bad because you can only do it in one place. Like, you cannot, like, fix it and put it in a different place. You just can't do that. Um, you can't, like, relocate it. It's a fixed place, if that makes sense. You can't, like, move it around. Uh, but, uh, yeah, either way. Um, so, you guys got this command block. I don't know. And then, yeah. Um, and then this next command block is chain, un er, chain conditional always active. And it's slash execute at e name equals set crafter uh comma type equals enter my bracket tilde 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 clone uh zero four negative seven zero four negative seven space tilde 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 pretty simple pretty easy command um and then right after that you're gonna want a comparator facing into this uh impulse unconditional needs redstone command block and then this is just making the sound that it's been crafted. And it's uh, slash play sound random dot anvil underscore use at A. Um, so yeah. And then this command block is just cloning this dropper into this one. So it's got infinite like eggs. So you always get the uh, egg back when you're breaking it. Uh, um, so basically you just kind of want to put a dropper at... Uh, Five, four, negative six, and then this command block goes right next to it, like um, on the uh, positive x-axis. And then you do slash clone, um, space tilde negative one tilde tilde space tilde negative one tilde tilde space two four negative three or whatever the coordinates are of this dropper. So for me, it's two four negative three. If you put the things in the exact same spot as me, you don't have to worry about that. You just put what I put. But if you didn't, then y you probably know how to do coordinates. And if you don't, then that's just 100% your fault. And I can't do anything about that. But, um, yeah. And so it's pretty simple. Just place the crafter. And then I gotta grab the gold. And then the apples. Alright, and then, yeah, it's honestly pretty simple command. Um, it doesn't take that long to make, in my opinion. It, it took quite a while to make just kind of, like, the first time making it. But other than that, it was pretty easy. Um, so, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh. Okay, bye. Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope this actually helped you. Like, if you're making a server, this will not work for one reason and one reason only. Um, this command block and this comparator are a safety method so that people don't get duplicated items. Like, if uh, this command block that I'm standing on was attached to this command block line, like this command block chain, then um, you would be able to, like, duplicate items by doing one crafting recipe in there, and then the, like, actual uh, recipe would end up being in both of them. So you can't do two at a time, it just doesn't work. And you only get one back if you place two. So, yeah. Um, I might make a video tomorrow for the, um, uh, the, uh, Uncrafter. Which will also have a video on how to, like, start off with these, I guess. So, yeah. I'll do that tomorrow, probably. But, yeah. Bye, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, see you next time, hopefully. Yeah. Bye.